In this session, we're going to have a look at a couple of tools. We're going to have a look at the intelligent scissors and also the foreground selection tool. Now, the intelligent scissors I mentioned before is kind of a little bit like the magnetic lasso. It's not quite as good as the Photoshop magnetic lasso, but I'll show you the basics of how it works. So I'm zooming in here by pressing the plus key and I'm going to select the intelligent scissors tool. And what I'm going to want to get is the inside segment only of this orange. So it's a point tool where you can click like that. And as I click different points, it makes its best guess as to what I want. And what you'll be able to see is that it kind of follows a line, um, but it doesn't seem very accurate. And to finish it off, you can either click in the middle like that, or you can press enter. Now, there is this setting here, interactive boundary. And if you make sure that that is on, I'm just going to clear my selection for a second. Then what we can do is we can make this a little bit better. So I can just click roughly around it like that. And I'm going to close it up at the end. But here where it's not gone quite right I can drag it in and out and just make little adjustments now that's perfectly fine we can do that what we tend to find though is that it kind of just starts to get a little bit complex so to be honest what I usually do is I use this to get the rough selection very very quickly so I use the scissors like this there we are there and then I just go around with the lasso tool and use the plus and the minus to just correct the mistakes so uh, I press shift to add and control to minus. So I've got it on minus at the moment and I'm pressing enter. So I go around, take off all the little extra bits, just like that. Take that a little bit tighter there. Oh, I made a mistake there, but that's okay. We can fix that in a moment. And there. So now I can use the shift to add back on any areas which I think need adding. Just like that. And I can, again, get to the selection I want nice and quickly. If I make a mistake by going too far, I can very quickly correct that mistake just by using this tool here. So generally speaking, that's not a bad way to do things.